Hi, this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline, and today we're going to talk about desert penguins and moray eels with double jaws, one stacked inside the other one. So basically, moray eels have a jaw inside their throat now. Okay, so first let's talk about the desert penguins. Now, in my old timeline, there were only two species of penguins. They both lived in cold, icy climes. They were both white and black with very little variation between them. They were, it was very hard to tell them apart. It was hard to remember. But uh, since then, we've had gajillions of kinds of penguins. And the last I had heard in, up until yesterday, that we were up to forest penguins. And they had like tropical penguins. And those were the weirdest ones. And we were kind of joking that the desert penguins would come next. Well, yesterday, Daryl Bob mentioned on my channel that uh, something about desert penguins so i thought that they were brand new and then the next day somebody on retconned also mentioned about desert penguins i'm like that's pretty weird so i did a quick search and uh, it turns out that these desert penguins were actually mentioned four months ago by lone gunman on retconned which is pretty weird for me because i check the uh, listings and the new postings every day on Redcon I have for almost two years now. So it'd be pretty hard for me not to notice these. So these uh, these guys are Humboldt penguins. And weirdly, I remember Humboldt penguins being the forest penguin ones that we were talking about last time. I looked for a thread on forest penguins and I could not find one. So I'm thinking that this might be the replacement thread for the forest penguins one. Now it is desert penguins. Now, there are penguins popping up all over, so there are there are penguins in like every climate now. So it's not just this one weird climate, and there are other almost desert-like areas that penguins are currently in. These penguins are in the Atacama Desert, which is itself a desert I've only really heard about in the last five or six years. Never heard of it before that. Okay, so let's take a look at these guys. Um... You can kind of get some images of them here, but there are some other kinds of penguins mixed in with this one. This is the only video I could really find of desert penguins, weirdly. I mean, you would think that there would be plenty of video on it, but this National Geographic one is the only one. And I'm only going to play a little clip because I don't want to get a copyright strike. But apparently they have to slide down the this, this steep cliff in order to get to the ocean too they don't look very well suited to it 30 foot cliff can't hardly climb don't have legs they're a little more sturdy in this timeline and then when they get to the bottom it's all scummy with feathers and stuff pretty gross anyway so that's what we are we have made it all the way to the desert with the penguins all right uh now forest penguins i've been seeing this bird uh, a couple times on Google and apparently this is the new forest penguin. It's no longer the Humboldt that is the forest penguin. Now it's Tawaki or Fiordland crested penguins that live in the New Zealand forest. And apparently they're actually doing quite well there. Look at that weird eye. Get these weird crests on them. I've seen those the last two months or so but I hadn't really looked into them. Okay, so let's get on to uh, the moray eels. Now, they used to be just gray for me originally. Then I saw these yellow ones. Um, yeah, originally they were more like that. But uh, they're coming out in all kinds of colors. Speckled, kind of purplish, greenish. Look at this one up here. It's just like blue and yellow. Uh, pretty much almost all the colors now, they're getting there. I don't think we have purple yet. But uh, it's coming, I'm sure. Okay, so moray eels. Those guys do kind of look similar to this famous image of Alien from the movie. If you remember Alien, Alien had opened its mouth and then another mouth came out. And that was why it was so creepy. It was like a mouth inside a mouth, even though mouths are already creepy enough. Now there's two of them. Well, now we have a creature like that in our own reality. These moray eels have what are called pharyngeal jaws. So what are they? A second set of jaws in their throat, which also contain teeth. When they catch their prey, these jaws move forward into the moray's mouth, trap the struggling prey, and help move it into the throat 
and then down into the digestive system. Morays are the only type of animal we know that use their pharyngeal jaws to actively capture and restrain prey. So the, only, the way this sentence is, it suggests that there are other creatures with pharyngeal jaws, and there, there are. So far, only the eel does the alien mouth inside the mouth thing, though. This, this is uh, more info. It, you can see this is a really short wiki on the pharyngeal jaws right now. Most fish species with pharyngeal teeth do not have extendable pharyngeal jaws. Most fish species with pharyngeal teeth do not have extendable pharyngeal jaws. It doesn't say any other one besides the moray eel, though, so I could not track it down. Um, but it, it does sound like the space is open here for more guys with the pharyngeal jaws besides the moray eel. Okay, so here is a, a brief video on kind of how the jaw works. Basically, he captures his prey with his normal set of jaws, now called the oral jaws. And then uh, this is the regular jaw. And this set is sitting back here. It comes forward, grabs the prey, and yanks it all the way back in. Pretty creepy. Anyway, so that's what this uh, pharyngeal jaws is supposed to do. Here is an x-ray of them. So there's his normal mouth, and there are the pharyngeal jaws back here. And they will come forward all the way up into the regular oral mouth cavity. Here are the uh, skeletons. This is a skeleton of a moray. It has two sets of jaws, the regular and the pharyngeal. Okay, there are a few other animals that have the pharyngeal jaws. I wasn't able to find very many images, though. This one is supposed to be from Sarcastic Fringehead, which is a very weird fish that is also a big, fat M.E., and it's just weird looking. I am not surprised that other weird things have been found on it. This is what they look like. Uh, they first were just kind of a wide mouth fish, and then they, the mouth got all this color, and then now they've got this little fringy teeth stuff going on over on the outside. So this one's one of the newer ones, and a lot of the new ones are really weird. Uh, the only other pharyngeal that I could find uh, that was very much interest is this guy, the Crevaille Jack. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Well, you can see they kind of have another set of jaws in here, a bunch of teeth. Now, the whole teeth going into the back of the throat has been developing for a while, so I guess now we have entire jaws inside. Um, I, I do have to wonder if uh, maybe the movie Alien was kind of the impetus for this. Um, anyway, the Emmys do seem to follow movies quite a bit. So anyway, that's the latest strangeness for today. This is Eva signing off for Once Upon a Timeline.